Good afternoon. I'm at the uh, the turn off for Money Ray. And Money Ray sometimes spelt uh, money and R E A, and the G uh, H is left out. And it says in the load that this is the hometown of Robert Huddleston, famous poet and writer, 1814 to 1887. So who was this guy? Well, we're just about to find out. Because his grave is just up the road. Okay, we're, we're standing beside uh, the uh, plaque uh, of Money Ray non-subscribing Presbyterian Church here. And this building in behind me is the actual uh, building dating from 17... So this building uh, is 250 years old and uh, Robert Huddleston, the uh, bard of Money Ray, actually went to this church. And over here to the corner there's actually a, an educational plaque up about him. So what does it say? It says Robert Huddleston, poem, uh, poet of Money Ray, 1814 to 1887, baptized, married, and buried in this church. And there's a bit uh, about his biography. He was Ulster Scots, um, born on a farm half a mile from this church. Published two books in his lifetime, and he published an enormous collection of poems and manuscripts and uh, round about this place he was known as the poet. He attended a Khan school. Now Khan school uh, was quite well known back in those days. Um, he, he may have encountered authors like Byron and Milton and Spencer and Ferguson and Burns at this school. Uh, Robert was a larger-than-life figure who during his lifetime made a big impact on his contemporaries. He worked as a farmer and gunsmith, but his real interest was writing in verse. And there we have uh, his writings. He uh, published two books, a collection of poems and songs on rural subjects. And uh, what's the, there was another one. Um, I, the other one, a collection of poems and songs on different subjects. Uh, didn't have a great reception back then, has to be said. Um, but his poems are so, so uh, important for today because they uh, give a fascinating insight into the lives and thoughts of ordinary people living in uh, County Down in the middle of the 19th century. According to John Hewitt, Hewitt, Huddleston was one of the last folk bards of Ulster. And as with all churchyards or cemeteries uh, located beside a church, the oldest and the most important graves are normally found uh, close to the uh, entrance of the church. So some of the some of these would be uh, quite old. So we're coming round here and we're looking for uh, Robert Huddleston's uh, headstone. Uh, there's a there's a James Huddleston. Yeah. Okay, uh, 
collected by James Huddleston in memory of his son John, who departed this life 1836 in the year, uh, the 28th year of his life. The mortal remains of James Huddleston, who erected this stone now, moulder underneath the turf, which marks through where he died. Also, the remains of his wife Agnes. His son Robert Huddleston died 15th of February 1887, aged 78. Aye, that's it. Uh, Wife Margaret died such and such. Now this is a replica of this actual headstone here, which is the original. So let's have a look at it. Um, it's obviously got broken. So this one up above is a replica. So this is the, the bard of Money Ray, uh, his final resting place. And if you look around this graveyard, um, the older graves, the, the, the people in those graves and their, their parents and their grandparents would all have been Scottish planters. Um, they would have come over from the lowlands of Scotland. Um, this was a major area for the Scottish planters to live and they uh, quite a number of them uh, stayed here but a, a huge number of them used uh, this um, money ray and the surrounding lands as a launch pad for going further afield and we're talking about America and uh, Canada. A lot of these graves are, are very, very uh, weather-beaten, weather-worn, a lot of them have, have collapsed. Uh, let's see what the date on this one is. Well, that's a relatively recent one. No. Here's an older one. Can I see any date on that? 1819. Who died? 1819. Here's one sloping down. Oh, that's quite a nice, nice lettering. Uh, don't see any dates there. 1837. 1837. 1869. So all the graves, the older graves, are much of a muchness. Um, people, people landed up here from Scotland in the uh, in the in the late 1700s, and and uh, you know they're they're dying in the mid 1850s if they stayed in Money Ray. It would have been uh, tenant farmers and such like. And that's who uh, Robert Huddleston was, a tenant farmer. What else can I tell you about Huddleston? Well, Huddleston uh, was a, a standout character. He, he was quite eccentric and um, he, he, he uh, had an awful lot to say. Um, he raged against the uh, economic and social condi conditions of the time uh, where absentee uh, English landlords uh, exacted high uh, payments from their tenants. So he, he didn't like that and he ranted and raved against it. He, he would have, uh, have been probably sympathetic to uh, the the, uh, the the aims of the the boys in the in the 1798 rebellion 
and an awful lot of uh, non-conformist uh, Presbyterians would have been like him. There's a couple of old graves there. What's this one? Part of this life, 1859, age 72. Come and look at the obelisk. See who's it. Two. I don't know if we can make out any dates on that. Very difficult. Can't. No, no good. Right, we're down there up this way. Can we get up that way? Uh, That's an interesting one, right. Uh, Gavin Moffat McClure, uh, MD Surgeon, RN, youngest son of William and Isabel uh, McClure, who died of yellow fever on board HMS, HMS ship Eclure of Madeira. October 1845, a few days after volunteering his medical services in aid of fever-stricken crew of that vessel. Oh boy. Oh, there's a story there of, uh, of sacrifice. It's very sad. Okie doke. Let's uh, make tracks. If we see anything else here, what do we see what this one is on the right hand side? Blackberry. <laughs> do you want it? No. And it's, uh, it's hard to believe, looking at that church building, that it is 250 years old. Now, it obviously has been refurbished. There's died 1819. Yes, it obviously has been refurbished, but uh, the, the building is in very, very good nick. Has to be seen. Body of Hugh Barr, 
of Lish, Lish Lean, who died 4th of September 1788, aged 51 years old. Also his wife, who died 1807, aged 75. Also Bar of Balamina, 1825. So the whole family remembered here. But that's, a, that's the earliest grave uh, uh, we've found, 1788. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, all right. Um, oh. uh, here we have the old graveyard at Money Ray, non subscribing Presbyterian Church. And in the background, we have the new. We have new housing developments sur actually almost surrounding the entire graveyard here on this side. So going right round and here as well. Come and check this place out yourself and you might be surprised what you discover. And I've just come uh, along the road here to Money Ray Park. Uh, there's a bit of a mound here and there's a number of raised plinths uh, remembering uh, people from you know, the Castle Ray and Lisnabrini area, uh, famous people. And there's a raised plinth dedicated to the memory of Robert Huddleston. And uh, this is one of his uh, most famous poems, and it's talking about the Belfast Lammas Fir. I didn't even know there, there was a Belfast Lammas Fir. To sing the day, to sing the fir, that Berkey's car the lammas, in old Belfast, that town serer, for fin was try a gamas. To think to please at it were vain, and for a country plain boy, therefore to please myself alone, thus I began my in way, to sing that day from the uh, Lammas Fair, 1844. And there's the uh, non-subscribing Presbyterian Church in which he is buried. And there's the Scottish thistle, Ulster Scots Writers of Castle Ray.